There's a couple big studies um, by Dr. Vergoat and, and the Chorus study that um, showed equivalence of neoadjuvant chemotherapy to primary debulking. And so across the world, a lot of centers have shifted to more and more and more patients getting neoadjuvant chemotherapy, followed by surgery and then further chemo. Um, but when you look at it retrospectively and multiple studies, including some from our center and a couple centers in Canada that I know of um, have shown that the outcomes for the neoadjuvant group was not quite as good. So we were trying to uh, figure out why and so we had this multi-institutional study so it included Calgary and Alberta and Winnipeg and Manitoba and Toronto and Ontario and London and Ontario so the four sites with their gynecologists and we collected data on stage 3C and 4 high-grade uh, ovarian cancers and then looked at their outcomes. And one subset of that was we were looking at number of cycles for neoadjuvant because uh, Calgary and Winnipeg standardly give three cycles of neoadjuvant before surgery and then six after, whereas Toronto and London have standardly given three and three. And so we were wondering whether that made any differences in outcome and. Um, and so that's where the study came from initially.